over 5,000 years, the Chinese people created a splendid civilization on the land nurtured by the Yellow River and the Yangtze River. During this long period of time, dynasties came and went, and the Chinese culture waxed and waned. Grand and moving stories have played out on the historical stage of China. A hundred and fifty years ago, a specter, the communist specter, appeared in Europe. In the beginning of the 20th century, under the name of the Communist Party, it found a place to stay in China while the national power was deteriorating. Since then, China has faced unprecedented challenges. Everything the CCP has touched has been marred with lies, wars, famine, tyranny, massacre, and terror. Traditional faiths and values have been violently destroyed. Original ethical concepts and social structures have been disintegrated by force. Empathy, love, and harmony have been twisted into struggle and hatred. Veneration and appreciation of heaven and earth have been replaced by an arrogant desire to fight with heaven and earth. This has resulted in a total collapse of social, moral, and ecological systems, and a profound crisis for the Chinese people and the entire mankind. In the 1990s, the former Soviet Union and Eastern European communist regimes fell one after another, and the formerly blossoming appeal of the communist movement wilted. Barely able to maintain its feeble existence, the Communist Party has become impotent. Under its seemingly powerful and prosperous appearance is a tattered and torn picture of its crumbling end. With the collapse just around the corner, China may soon evolve into a society without the CCP. On the eve of the new replacing the old, we must reflect upon this phase of history. What is the Communist Party? How did the Chinese Communist Party begin? What did the Communist Party bring to China and the Chinese people? And how can the Chinese people maintain their traditions and pass them on to later generations? These are the questions that the Chinese people face today. The overturned cart in front is a warning to the carts behind. By reflecting the true history of the CCP, we can help prevent such tragedies from ever recurring. In the process, each of us can also re-examine our inner world. Are there many tragedies that shouldn't have happened, but indeed happened, due to our weakness and compromises?